Oh, I started the live. Now it's done. Now we're live. Kongan water demo with the great Steve Beaumont. All right, Steve, you're on camera. Hey, Facebook. We got a big audience tonight. How's it going, guys? Good, good. Doing great. I'm Steve. Jenny. I'm sorry, Albert. Albert, nice to meet you. And Chris. Yeah, yeah nice, to nice to meet you guys. Thank you so much for being here, and thank you for having me. This is my first time here at Urban Greens. What a really cool place. I'm excited to be here, and I'm excited to be part of this business as I am every day. And when we're done here, you're going to probably understand why I'm so excited to be a part of this and why this is getting to be so big in this area and all over the world. So what we're going to talk about today is we're going to talk a little bit about health. We're going to talk a lot about water. We're going to talk about how the, two, how the two go together and how we can have control over the largest element of our body, which is actually water. In fact, the body is 75% water. And it makes sense that if we can control the largest element of our body, then we can have a, a greater hand in controlling our overall health. Does that make sense? Yeah. Absolutely, it makes perfect sense. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. We're going to talk a little bit about true health today. My background, real quick, I've been drinking this water for coming up on four years now. And what made me look at this was a good friend of mine that I was working out with. His name's Carlos. And he kept talking about this water, this magic water. And people were coming to the gym and getting jugs of water from him. So I just kept asking. I said, man, what's going on with this water? He finally said, here, I'm going to give you a gallon, take it home, and drink it, and tell me how you feel tomorrow. And I started drinking that water, and it tasted really good. But the first thing I noticed was that I didn't feel full when I drank it, and I noticed that it just tasted really good. But the very next day, what I noticed is that I had slept through the night for the first time in about a decade without having to wake up in the middle of the night and take something to keep me asleep throughout the night. I suffered from very bad insomnia, and I started sleeping better. And I asked them, I said, Carlos, okay, what's going on with this water? It's been, at this point, it had been two or three days. I said, I'm sleeping better than I ever have in my life, and the only thing I'm doing differently is drinking this water. What's different about this water? And he shared with me a few things that you're gonna see tonight, and when I show them to you, it's gonna make sense as to why I was sleeping better give you some clues as to how this can help you feel better and live an overall healthier lifestyle. Fair enough? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what we're not going to do tonight is I am not a doctor. I'm not a medical professional. I'm not going to make any health claims. I'm not going to treat or diagnose or attempt to cure anything, but I'm going to give you some clues as to A, that health that's going on in, in and around us today and the, the state of our health in America and B, a solution to not only improving our overall health, but living healthier in terms of being green, living chemical free, and changing the environment that we, that we live in, the, the food that we eat and cook, and how we, how we live overall a, a healthier lifestyle. So we're gonna talk a lot, a lot about that today. We're gonna talk a little bit about this company, Enagic, that's been in business since 1974, and it started in these hospitals over in Japan. For the first 20 years that Enagic existed, their technology was only produced for hospitals in Japan, actually. And this is where we all got where we got our start. Now it's a 44 year old privately held company. We're the top of the top of the industry, the gold standard, if you will. We have all the certifications. So Water Quality Association, NSF, ANSI, which is very big for food service. We're an OEM company. That means that all of our machines, all of our, all of our life-altering devices, as we like to call them, are built under one roof in Japan under Japanese government guidelines. Japanese have the highest manufacturing standards. We have ISO certifications for medical, uh, manufacture of medical equipment, for quality control, for environmental impact, and we have over 40 global offices operating around the globe, and we're doing business in well over 180 countries. Not a whole lot of companies doing business in that many countries, so we're huge. The ISO certifications are very, very important, especially this one right here, number 13485. Every piece of medical equipment on the planet Earth must have this approval. 
and we have received the certification. Again, environmental management and quality management as well. Highest quality standards. The technology is patented, the name Kongen is patented, and even our business model is patented. So if you read on the internet that there's a machine that'll do it cheaper and it's the same thing, I promise you it's not the same thing. It's not the same technology, it's not Kongen water. Okay? It's not it's not medical water, it's not healthy for you. WQA gold seal, this is a really big deal in the United States. But the NSF and the ANSI, again for food service. We could actually put this technology into a restaurant and be compliant. We could remove sanitizers and degreasers and all kinds of chemicals that are currently being used in food prep, remove those and still be fully compliant. Okay? This is the man behind it all, Mr. Oshiro, true visionary, man with passion in his heart. And when he asks, when you meet him, he shakes your hand and asks you, how's your health? Mm -hmm. He wants to know how your overall health is. He wants to know how your heart is. How are your relationships? How are you, how's your emotional health? So, truly compassionate man. He's the one with this vision that sees this, this global vision, and it were, it's occurring today. Okay, from a tiny island to the world, he wrote a book, success story, all about his trials, his tribulations, growing up in Okinawa. Okay, so what is Kongen water? Kongen is simply a Japanese word that just means it's return to origin, which is what we're trying to do with the body trying to put it back to a state of balance. We're putting water back to the way it was originally created. When you find water in nature, for example, in a, in a glacier, glacial water has very healing therapeutic properties, which we're gonna talk about. All we're doing is recreating these naturally occurring waters that still exist in a few places around the world. We call them blue zones. People travel from around the planet to these blue zones to drink this natural healing water. It's miraculous, they call it miracle water. We've simply recreated that using, electro using the process of electrolysis, okay? You don't have to understand how it works, but we're gonna explain it. Here's how the technology works. We filter the water, we're gonna remove all the chemicals, all the chlorine, the, the things you don't want, the bad stuff, but we're gonna leave the calcium, the magnesium, the important minerals that your body does need, and then we're gonna simply charge the water with electricity. We're gonna zap it with some power. Same thing as lightning striking water. You don't need to know how this works. All you need to know is that we're always making two different types of water. One is alkaline and one is acidic. They both have a lot of different uses in the home, in, in the body, and in businesses. Electrolysis, again, all we need to know is that we're splitting the water. We're actually disassociating the water, okay? We have two devices that are we consider flagship. We have our eight plate, Kongen 8, and we have our SE501. Okay, they're built to last 20, 25 years, licensed medical equipment, and they're absolutely top of the line, phenomenal technology. You can produce seven different types of water with them, and we're gonna go over all of those today. First, let's back up and talk about health in America. How are we doing in America as far as our health? Are we doing good or bad? Uh, yeah, it's awful. It's pathetic how bad we're doing. 68% are excessively overweight, and this is, a, this is a conservative number, okay? 60 million Americans suffer from heart disease. One in three Americans have diabetes. One in two will have cancer, but here's the scary thing. Healthcare costs are going up so fast, so far, that by the year 2020, we're gonna be spending over four trillion per year in the United States on what we like to call sick care, not health care, but sick care. It's after someone's diagnosed with cancer, after someone's diagnosed with diabetes or rheumatoid arthritis, or some life-threatening illness. That's when the health care starts. What we're really doing is we're being retroactive. We're putting a Band-Aid on it, we're giving people drugs, we're treating disease, we're actually managing disease. That's not health care. Health care is being proactive. It's practicing prevention. If we look at the Eastern cultures like Japan, for example, they practice prevention. And they're eating raw organic foods. They're drinking electrolyzed water, okay? And that's why they're the healthiest culture on the planet. In America, we call this allopathic medicine. It's the art of branding or selling disease, okay? And we're doing it with drugs and with treatments and all kinds of things, okay? So again, what's this have to do with our health? 75% of the body is water, 
we can control our water, we can control just about everything else in our health. Now there's three properties of this water that make it unique, that make it like those healing waters, the blue zones. First of all, it's gonna hydrate your body and your cells much faster. Second, it's a powerful anti-inflammatory, antioxidant. And third, it has a healthy pH, okay? So what is oxidation? What do we think about when we hear oxidation? Oxygen. Oxygen. Mm -hmm. Rust. We think of rusting. It's actually the aging of our body. Okay? When, we, when we open an apple, we cut an apple open, it turns brown almost right away. That's oxidation. That actually happens in our body. All disease begins with oxidation. It's the actual cause. Okay? That's what causes our bodies to age. We can't stop oxidation, but we can slow it down. Okay? We can slow it down through the intake, the intake of antioxidants, right? Does that make sense? Do you know what an antioxidant is, Anne? Yes. What is an antioxidant? Well, I know that the antioxidant in the common water is molecular hydrogen. Molecular hydrogen, yeah. okay. So an antioxidant, <laughs> it's easy to remember. It's anything that has an extra electron. Oh, that's right, right? yeah. So a free radical causes oxidation. A free radical is an unhealthy cell that's missing an electron. So it goes around stealing electrons from healthy cells, making them unhealthy. What an antioxidant is, is it's anything that has an extra electron to donate. So instead of the free radical stealing electrons, an antioxidant has electrons to give away to actually create healthy cells out of those free radicals. It's actually very simple. We're going to talk about antioxidants first today. And first I'm going to introduce all these different beverages up here just to show you the difference, okay? So Sprite is going to represent all of your sodas, all of your rock stars, your Red Bulls, all of your energy drinks. The Perrier is going to represent soda water, any Talking Rain or Pellegrino. The Propel is going to represent Gatorade, vitamin water, any, any type of sports drinks. Aquafina and Dasani are exactly the same. One's made by Pepsi, one's made by Coke. It's reverse osmosis water. They removed all the, all the impurities, but they've also removed the calcium, the magnesium, the minerals that your body needs, okay? And then we have smart water, which is actually a form of alkaline water. We have some tap water, and we have our congen water. Okay. Real quick, I have some, do you guys want some congen water? I have yes. some. Thank you, you should be drinking it during the demo. <laughs> some good idea. Do we look thirsty? <laughs> Pretty slow there? Still recovering? No, it's squashed yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> he needs water. He just washed off the mic to get some right here. Was it not right here? I think right here. Yeah, right here. To the summit? Yes. I'm doing that next summer. Are you serious? Yeah, we're gonna have to talk because yeah, I'm I'm, I'm climbing right here next summer. And I've been looking to find other people that have done it. <laughs> you just did it last weekend. That's awesome. He's, he's trying to... Did you climb Mount Rainier last weekend? I did. To the summit? Got to the summit. That's yes. so... We're going to talk about that because I'm doing it next summer. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's awesome. It's, uh, yeah, it was, it was fun. <laughs> yeah? How he, tired were you? Pretty was awesome. that the hardest physical thing you've ever done? Mm, I'm a bigger guy, so I think running a marathon might have been a little tougher than that. Oh, you ran a marathon? Yeah. I got a little bit lighter. Yeah, big guys don't make the best mountaineers usually. No. No, a lot more weight here. There's a reason you don't see six six foot Sherpas in, in yeah. Nepal. Okay. Oh, I don't know what you're your life though. Right? Oh, it's, yeah, it's definitely. How you did you go with? Yeah. Would you go with the expedition? No, 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 no. That's the one thing I didn't want to do was go with the expedition. So I went with a couple of little buddies I met up uh, from hiking over the last few months. You have all the gear and everything? Yeah, oh, that's cool. That, that's that's why the most expensive part. I know. I know. <laughs> I mean, the Summit Park as a loner are like six or seven hundred bucks, aren't they? Oh, if you want to go on to REI and get yeah. the uh, oh, I didn't, I didn't price the rental here. I thought I'm doing it a few more times across every mountain, so you guys want to buy it here. Okay, so we're going to talk again about antioxidants. So I have a meter that measures what we call oxidation reduction potential. Let's say it backwards, it makes more sense. It's the potential to reduce oxidation, okay? If this, meet, if this meter shows us a positive number, that means it's oxidizing. It's actually causing rusting in our bodies. It's causing us to age. It's causing inflammation. 
But if we get a negative number with this, then we have an antioxidant, and it's helping us. It's actually decreasing our aging. It's actually helping us to heal from within. So let's start with Sprite, because nobody believes that Sprite is an antioxidant, do they? Does anybody here think Sprite is antioxidant? No. Okay. No. So do we have a positive or a negative number positive on this? Positive 722. So it's very oxidizing, okay? Let's look at the Perrier. How's the Perrier doing? Positive 627. But it's positive, it's oxidizing, okay? So it's resting us. What about Repel? This is a fitness water. Positive 420. They've added electrolytes for your performance. That's okay. nice. <laughs> you know, uh, vitamin water used to actually say right on the bottle that it was antioxidant, and they can't really? say they can't say that anymore. Positive four forty five. Okay, so this oh, one is Aquafina. Oh, this is Aquafina. Okay, so this is Pepsi Cola's version of reverse osmosis. This one's the Sony. I like to call it the Sonesty because it's tap water in a bisphenol bottle. Well, no, they, they literally got caught putting tap water. Yep. Sold to you at a 20,000% markup. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? <laughs> We're such smart consumers, aren't we, in America? <laughs> such smart. Here, speaking of smart, this is smart water. Okay, so how smart is it? 4,400. Four well, pretty smart. Pretty dumb. People to buy okay, it. so yeah. It's, but it's oxidizing, okay? It's resting us. It's aging us. Tap water. How's tap water doing? Rising. Rising. and rising. Right. Also because oxidizing. they want this to reach 600 or higher before it's even released from the treatment plant so that no organisms can survive in it. But what are you and I? We're organisms. So why are we drinking, bathing in, cooking our food in something that kills everything? Okay. Now, we go to Kangen water, something different happens. Negative. Negative what? Three, uh, four, five, hundred. Negative. Rising the negatives. Negative five, five, sixty-five. Okay, so we're way negative. Okay. Let me make sure my meter's not broken. So let's go to the tap water again. Just make sure this is working right. How are we doing? Positive, 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 it's going up. Okay, so let's try just one more time with our common water. What do we do? Negative six hundred. Bam. That's some. My meter isn't broken. Beautiful. Okay, so what this is, this is the world's most powerful bioavailable antioxidant. If you remember anything from tonight, please remember this part because this is what's going to help your body to heal from within. And okay, rather than putting something that actually causes rusting, we're putting something that takes it away. Okay? For example, green tea in its purest rust form is about a negative 75, negative 100. Cod liver oil, negative 100 at best. This was five times that, six times that. So this is the world's most powerful bioavailable antioxidant. Now what's interesting about this is somehow I skipped past the first part, but I want to show you hydration right now because you're going to see how not only are you hydrating your body faster with this water, but you're flooding your cells with antioxidants with every sip that you take. So this is a green tea bag, and this is going to represent the cells in your body. And all we're going to try to do is make tea or hydrate the cells of this green tea. Okay. Anybody ever try to make tea with room temperature water? Really? What happens? <laughs> does it work? <laughs> Not really. It doesn't really work, does it? I like it? this okay. guy. He's an experimenter. <laughs> so this is some tap water. It's room temperature. And we're going to try to make tea with it. Were we, able, were we able to make tea with that tap water? No. No. Okay. So we're going to take the same tea bag. And we're going to go to our Kangen water. Would somebody like to tell me if this is hot or cold? <laughs> Room temperature feels like cool. Room temperature. It's actually a little cool, right? It's not hot, though. No. Definitely not hot water. Okay. Room temperature water instantly made that tea. Okay. Now I know what you're thinking. I got it warmed up, so we're going to try it again. This time we're going to use dishonesty. We're going to try to make tea with that super pure filtered water. And the result's the same. 
reason we're able to make tea is because we've actually restructured this water. We've actually made the water smaller. That's how we're able to get tea out that much faster. In fact, if I were to take just a tiny little bit of this tea and put it into, here, let's do this one. If I added water to that cup, would it dilute the water or would it dilute the tea or make it darker? Good question. Okay, so let's try. I'm going to dilute this one. He's a smart guy. I'm going to dilute this one with, with the uh, dishonesty or dishonesty. And we diluted it. Whatever tea was left in there disappeared. But this one, you can kind of see that there's a little bit of color, but watch what happens when I add the kangen water to it. It brings it out. I could even bring it out of here if I had enough room in that cup. I could bring it out. I can even take just a few tiny little drops of this water. Just a few drops of this tea, I'm sorry. And this time we'll use Aquafina. And this time we'll use Kangen water. <laughs> Bless you. Just that tiny li little bit of tea, just a drop of tea made us a whole cup real antioxidant green tea, okay? So you're able to hydrate your body so much faster when you're drinking this water. That process of electrolysis actually restructures the water at the molecular level, and you're able to get much, much, much more into your cells. Does this make sense so far, guys? Yes. Makes awesome. more and more sense every demonstration I watch. I know, I learn Love something it. new every time. Love it, okay. So those are the first two properties. First, superior hydration. Second, very powerful antioxidant. And then the third is the pH. pH stands for potential of hydrogen. We're measuring hydrogen. Hydrogen is the smallest element in the universe. It's also the most healing. Hydrogen is the base element of all life. Without hydrogen, you can't have water, okay? So we're measuring potential of hydrogen. It starts at 1, or 0, and goes to 14. 14 is the most alkaline, 0 is the most acidic. Battery acid has a pH of about 2, okay? Ammonia has a pH of about 14. Now, human blood is about 7.365. It is exactly 7.365. And our bodies are working around the clock maintaining that pH. And it's absolutely crucial that we maintain that. Now, I can put a couple drops in all these beverages, and you can see at a glance, where they fall as far as their pH. So we have our soda here. We hold it up to the pH scale. How does it look? Is it acidic or alkaline? Pretty acidic. It's extremely acidic, okay? Since this is a, mat, a logarithmic scale, six is actually 10 times more acidic than seven. Five is a hundred times, four is a thousand, three is ten thousand. This is a 2.5 pH, which means it's almost 50,000 times more acidic than my blood. And it takes our body about 12 hours to balance the effects of one can of soda. Perrier, Pellegrino, any sparkling water, people are always surprised about this. It's extremely acidic. What do we breathe out? Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. Why? It's waste. It's, it's toxic. Actually, our body has no use for it. It needs to get rid of it. Why would we want to put it back into our body? Okay, our bodies can't use it. Okay, the propel. All kinds of things and stuff in this. It's very acidic. Gatorade is extremely acidic. Aquafina, extremely acidic because they've removed all the minerals. There's no life-giving properties in here. It's dead. This is dead as water, it's dead as water gets. Put a goldfish here, in here it'll die in a matter of minutes. There's nothing to give it life in here. Same thing with Dasani or dishonesty. Again, it's bottled tap water. Smart water, this is, a, this is what they call alkaline bottled water. Essentially a 9.5, you might have seen that one in the store, it's the same thing. What they're doing is they're taking these waters and they're adding inorganic minerals. Guys, your water should never have ingredients. 
first thing you should do when you pick up a bottle of water is read the ingredients. If it's on there. If they're on there. But the first one in smart water is calcium chloride, magnesium chloride, potassium bicarbonate, salt and baking soda. You don't want it in your water. Water has naturally occurring minerals. We don't want to, we don't want to remove those. People see the tap water and they say, oh, that's good, it's alkaline. Okay. Well, the reason the tap water is alkaline, well, there's a lot of things that they put in our tap water, but one of them is lye. Lye has a pH of 14. It's designed, they put it in our tap water to raise the pH on purpose. If we put something acidic through our city pipes, they would rust out. So they're protecting the infrastructure of the city pipes, but what about ours? Lye is what you put on, is what you use to kill moss on your lawn. They use to decompose bodies. You don't want to be drinking it, okay? And now the common water, the reason this is purple is not because we've added anything to it. It's purple because of that huge negative number that we just saw. It's purple because of all of that hydrogen. Potential of hydrogen is what pH is. There is a massive amount of hydrogen in this water, hydrogen gas, which is very, very, very healing. Now, all things we do cause acidity in the body. We stress, we work out, we sleep, we eat. All of it causes acidity in the body. What we have is the simplest mechanism for balancing acidity and to balance our overall body, our overall diet. But when we start drinking these things, these are so acidic, like the Propel. Look at that, it tries to change, but it can't. It's too acidic. The Sprite can't even change at all. It's too acidic. And we're, we're drinking this and we're giving it to our kids by the gallon. And we're drinking these with every meal and we wonder why people are getting cancer. Why give me the extra diabetes. large. Give me the jumbo size. Yeah, give me the 64 ounce big gulp. But yeah, people, so here's the thing. This is what kills me, guys. People want to do their research before they drink this. But they don't want to do their research before they drink this. It doesn't make any sense. They want to do their research before they drink this. But they don't want to do their research before they drink salt and baking soda infused water in a poisonous plastic bottle that's going to destroy your, yeah, anyway. Yeah. So, healthy water, not good. Okay. Plus, what this is doing to the environment, guys, is a nightmare. Okay, most of the plastics are not making it to the recycling centers. We're throwing away over 50 billion plastic can you bottles. Show, can you show them a little bit of the, did you already do a little bit of the spray into the, you already did that? Oh, how, oh, 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 I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Just, a, just a scotch of, yeah, just yeah, one, one okay. thing, because so, I used so, to do that. I'm like, I see all this good stuff, stuff here? One, 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 yeah. What I have here is I have this Sprite that we diluted with Kangen water, so it's actually half Sprite, half Kangen water. Probably more okay. Kangen water. Now this is what just one little sip of soda can do. Okay, just a sip of diluted soda. Where are we going? <laughs> Not so bad. Oh, that's my, that was the tea. Oh. <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh my gosh. This will do it. There we go. <laughs> that was the tea. That was the it's tea. It's the same color. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm like, it is our, there we go. Okay, so this is the Sprite. This is the Sprite. <laughs> this is what I was drinking earlier. They're just the same color. You see that? Just a tiny little bit destroyed all of that. And that's what happens when we drink that stuff. So that's why we What don't. is it, 32 gallons to one? Oh, it's it's crazy. Yeah, I mean, that's it's like a one, lot one you soda, you need 32 gallons of the common water to like balance You're gonna it. You're going to need, yeah. To make it not acidic yeah. anymore. 32 gallons. You can't. You can't. <laughs> I'm never <laughs> can't drink, drink I'm never day. drinking soda pop again. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to switch gears. We're almost done. We're going to switch gears. We're going to talk about the other types of water real quick because these are going to be the most crucial in, in an establishment like this, especially. So, but if you do want to do some research, I recommend you look up Dr. Uh, Hiromi Shinya. He's done, uh, written several books about not only this water, but he teaches plant-based nutrition. And he has, uh, he was actually the inventor, one of the co-inventors of the endoscopy. Uh, which is how they go in uh, the colonoscopy. So uh, very, very instrumental in, in that research. And all of his research, and he's been using this water for over, thir over three decades in his practice. Now what the technology is, it's actually an appliance for your home. And it produces seven different types of water. Well, I think, why seven different types of water? Well, they all have a lot of different uses around the home. 
and we're going to go through those real quick. We, it makes a clean filtered water for taking your medication, for making baby formula. Beauty water, this is everyone's favorite because if you're buying toners for your face or for your skin, you don't ever have to do that again. You're, you're smiling. You buy toner? I do. How much do you pay for your toner? Like seven bucks. Okay, so that's not as bad. I've heard 60, 70, yeah. some people pay for toner. So this is the best toner you're ever going to use. Okay, I'm going to let you try it. You can tell me what you think, but I, I just, I just know. And your hair. We got a lady from Nordstrom. We got a lady from Nordstrom that doesn't want people to know that that's better than the best thing that they sell. Of course not. But beauty water is amazing for other things, for like cleaning your hardwood floors, for cleaning glass. I boil my pasta in it. I make my oatmeal and things with it. So there's a lot of different. It's great for watering plants. Dude, rice is so much fluffier. I was like blown yeah. away. Is oatmeal fluffier? When yeah. You yeah, it really is. Yeah. It's amazing. I oh, like fluffy oatmeal. Yeah, <laughs> me too. I do too. Yeah. So beauty water used for all kinds of stuff. Okay, this is one of my favorites. Okay, this is. It's actually hypochlorous acid. It's what happens when you electrolyze salt water. What you end up with is a non-toxic form of bleach. I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna pass this around. You can smell it. It smells like bleach. Yeah, that'll kill everything that bleach kills twice as fast. In fact, it'll kill more things than bleach will kill twice as fast. It'll kill staph, it'll kill MRSA, AIDS virus, salmonella, E. coli, you name it. But interestingly enough, despite being able to kill all those things, it is non-toxic. I can spray my eyeballs if I had an eye infection. If I was preparing chicken or fish, I could spray my meat with this to kill all the bacteria before preparing it, okay? So you can sanitize your hands with it. You can sterilize your countertop, spray all of your cutting boards and your knives and all of your food prep equipment and keep your food service areas clean without the harmful chemicals. So this is extreme, very advantageous to have not only in a food service establishment, a restaurant, juice bar, but in the home as well. This is what I use to clean my toilets, my countertops, to scrub my entire kitchen with this today. So, and then the micro, oh, and it's also used in a lot of different topical applications like psoriasis, eczema, and so on and so forth. There's been a lot of medical research done on the effectiveness of hypochlorous acid on various skin conditions like flesh-eating bacteria, necrotizing fasciitis, ex again, eczema, psoriasis, all kinds of different things. So um, this is very, very powerful stuff. The byproduct of this is actually an extremely alkaline water. It's actually 100 times more alkaline than the water that you're drinking tonight. And this is what you're gonna use to clean the rest of your home. This is the best degreaser you're ever gonna use, the best laundry soap, the best carpet cleaner, the best veggie wash, and that's what we're going to get into right now. I have some tomatoes here from Costco that we're going to do a little bit of tomato washing. Now, let me just ask, when you go to the grocery store and you buy produce and you bring it home, before you put it into the fridge or before you prepare it, what do you do with it? You wash it. What are you, what are you watching? And there, there's, there it is. There's tomato the overboard. There's always a tomato overboard. Tristan's only been to one of my demos. You don't realize that. I time. always get tomatoes on the floor, and I always get water on myself. <laughs> it's just, it's just how things go. The demo hasn't started until Steve makes it. All right. So we wash these, right? Do we wash them in bottled water or tap water? Anybody ever wash your produce in bottled water? I don't know anybody that does. So we're gonna take, we're gonna take, and we're gonna wash these tomatoes in tap water, and we're gonna wash these ones in our 11.5 pH Kangen water. Again, this is 100 times stronger than what you're drinking, and this is powerful, powerful stuff. We're gonna let those soak there for a minute. Now, those tomatoes are covered in oil-based herbicides insecticides, pesticides, fungicides, germicides, homicides, suicides. <laughs> They're covered in oil-based chemicals. Why are they oil-based? So it doesn't run into our, all of our things. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so it doesn't run, in, run into the streams, kill the fish. Like the farmers don't have to keep respraying it. They're expensive, okay? So they're oil-based if they're locked on there. 
This is sesame oil to simulate pure sesame oil. What do we know about water and oil? They don't mix. They don't mix. Okay. We, we'll do some uh, aquafina here just to show you that water and oil, in fact, do not mix. They've completely separated. However, when you can restructure the water and there's enough hydrogen in it, you can do something completely different. I'm going to take, I'm going to drink this water, and then I can completely emulsify that sesame oil with water, which is why this is the best veggie wash, the best laundry detergent, the best degreaser, the best carpet clean, cleaner, the best overall cleaner you're ever going to use, hands down. And what you just saw is irrefutable. I just mix water and oil together. So with that, what do you think the result with our tomatoes is gonna be? Probably a little bit different. So let's look at our tap water tomatoes. We're gonna to give these a really good rinse and see how well the tap water cleaned those tomatoes. You can see that that water is still pretty clear. Now we're gonna wash our congen tomatoes and see how these ones did. I'm not even going to give them the double rinse. Is there a difference? Yeah. These taste so different. Do you think there's a difference in taste? Absolutely. These are all the oil-based herbicides, insecticides, and pesticides that our tap water simply cannot wash off. Now, the interesting thing is, we've also just put all of the chemicals that are in our tap water into these tomatoes. So let's say you buy organic, okay? You pay a little extra money, you buy organic produce, you bring it home, you're still gonna rinse it off, right? Well, just by rinsing it off, you just put all 200 plus ingredients of your tap water into your food. Chlorine, fluoride, prescription drugs, ammonia, chromium lye, hexavalent chromium, uh, chloroform, lead, you name it. Hormones. Prescription birth control, it's in there. So that's what's going into your food. So with this, not only are you not putting that stuff into your food, but you're actually effectively washing off these pesticides. Let me show you. I'm gonna take this last little bit of tap water here, and I don't know if you're pre-filtering your tap water or not here, but I'm gonna put these chlorine drops in here, and if there's chlorine in your water, this is gonna turn yellow. has, so there's chlorine in your water. You can see that? Can you see the color difference? Okay. Now, if I took this tomato, it's been sitting out for a little bit, then, so it's probably, it's probably evaporated quite a bit, but I take this tomato and I break it open and I stick it in that chlorinated tap water, that tomato is going to absorb all that chlorine. And our bodies absorb... Our bodies also absorb all the chlorine in the water when we shower, when we wash our hands, just the same way our food does. So even if we're buying organics, we're still putting all the things in our tap water into our food. We wonder why we're still getting sick. We wonder why we're not as healthy. But here's the real trick. Being able to remove these pesticides properly is gonna make all of your produce last 10 to 14 days longer in storage. So, um, you're going to save a lot of money. You're not going to be throwing things away. And then there are so many dangers to bathing in and being exposed to chlorine. Um, you breathe it when you're showering. It's getting in your lungs. We wonder why there are so many problems with asthma. The atrazine that's on our chemicals is the number one cause of autism today. And here's a scary fact. The EPA allows three times more atrazine on our food today than they allowed in 2013. There's, no, there's not even a reason for it that we know of. But atrazine's the number one ingredient in Roundup. So it's really bad, bad, bad stuff. And it's everywhere. So we can, we, with this technology, you have the opportunity to clean up our food, clean up our environment. You're not breathing into chemicals. You're not contributing to all of the waste and throwing all the things away and all the garbage. And of course, you're saving an awful lot of money. And then I always get asked the question, well, what about the beauty water? Can I shower in the beauty water? What do we do about cleaning up our shower water? We have an amazing Nespot technology. It's an organic mineralizer that cleans up your shower water 
when you can actually bathe in a hot spring rather than taking a chemical bath. It's phenomenal. Okay, so um, I'm, not, I'm not sure if Ann shared anything with you about the spa, but I've had mine for two and a half years and I cannot live without it. In fact, when I go from not showering in chlorine to showering in chlorine, it begins to burn my skin. So when you're, when you I get, experienced that too. Yeah, when you're, I shave my legs and I like use my the next spot and the next day I shave my legs in the chlorine one and I got super bumpy and red and cheap. Yeah, so it's amazing the difference in it. It's amazing just what happens when you hear water right because again it's seventy five percent of our body. When you hear water right, everything else tends to fall into place. So we're all about being green. We're all about these environmental awards. We're all about saving the planet. I mean, the, again, the chemicals, the plastics. We don't want to be breathing it. We don't want it near our food. And then this is just a nightmare. The plastics. It's bad. It's getting worse. And then if you're buying bottled water, you're already paying for our technology. You just don't own our technology yet. If you're buying even Aquafina over 15 years, 17 grand, that's provided that the price never goes up. If you're buying Fiji, then you're going to spend 96 grand in the next 15 years. Again, provided that the price doesn't go up. Chances are we can expect to see prices triple and maybe even quadruple, or maybe even more. No, it will for sure. But the Water reality is that, going to get more and more expensive. The reality is this, and I can say this with absolute confidence: bottled water is by far the greatest scam in the history of the human race by far. Can you think of a greater a greater hoax or scam? A few. A few? <laughs> really? I don't know. Uh, water is huge. Yeah, bottled water is huge. I, hate, I can't, I, I, I really factory, can't. I hate factory farming too, just because like yeah. what it does to me. Uh, but it's not as widespread. It's not as impacting as many people. Yeah. I mean, everyone has succumbed to the scam of bottled water. Everyone, myself included, we've all purchased a bottle of water. We've all purchased a bottle of Process tap water at a twenty thousand percent markup at one time or another. And we're so clueless about it too. It's just we're how so long are we going to continue to do? It? How long are we going to allow Pepsi and Coke to win and to kill our children and our people? Because that's the reality, guys. Fifty years ago, cancer was virtually non-existent. It was rare, but so was this. This wasn't being served with every meal. Mm -hmm. This was being served once a week or at best. My parents never drank this. They, they, they would have it as a treat a couple times a month at best. Now it's everywhere. Yeah. And we wonder why we're overweight, why we're sick, and why we're dying. This is why. It's this. It's the food. It's the stuff that's on our food. Why our children are so sick. And the reality is we can't stop it, but we can at least can control what we're doing in our homes, what we're giving to our family, we're putting into our own bodies and what we're giving to our customers. And as a business owner, you have the opportunity to offer something to your customers that other people don't with this technology. So, but it's absolutely phenomenal. It's going to save you money. We're not going to get into the turmeric tonight, but um, just know that it's there. Ann can tell you more about that unless you want me to go into it. But I mean, we do have a very powerful turmeric nutraceutical if you um nutraceutical. If you, uh, nutraceutical. are you familiar with turmeric no. okay so yeah just read about it um there's so much research being done today that's already finished it's uh effective against i don't even know how many chemo resistant cancers nowadays but it's very powerful in terms of antioxidant anti-inflammatory really that one goes low yeah it, it, Come back tomorrow. <laughs> this place is so good. They got people trying to come in an hour after they're closed. Okay, so we got a lot of different products, all different price levels. We have three plate machines, seven plate machines, commercial machines for restaurants and food service, our nest spot, of course, and turmeric. All of these can be financed with no money down. Uh, we like to use Chase, 0% for 15 months. It's a no brainer. You can get an SD501 for about 45 bucks a month. You can do the SD501 and the NS spot together for under $80 a month. It's the ultimate no-brainer. We have in-house financing, but it's very, very easy to own, very easy to maintain. It'll last you 20 to 25 years. 
Plus, you gain access to so many tax advantages when you invest in our, in our technology. You can write the, the technology itself off, but there's a whole myriad of tax advantages that you open yourself up to when you invest with eNagic. Because you're not just investing with eNagic, you're investing in Ann, you're investing in Tristan, you're investing in me, and to the technology as well. So there's a team of us that are available to help you and to help you share this with other people. If you choose to go that route, we have an amazing referral program. You could actually get your technology paid off and own it for free by referring about eight to 10 families to us. So there, I mean, it has never been easier to own this. When I first saw this four years ago and my friend Carlos told me how much the unit was, I laughed in his face and said, okay, can I borrow four grand? <laughs> <laughs> but the reality is, I mean, it's the best money I ever spent, best money. Yeah. And I did what I had to do. I did what I had to do to get it in my home. Because if you're drinking the water from jugs, that's great, but you're not getting the benefit that you can get from having it fresh every day. So, I mean, so much greater. You know, the ability to clean your produce and do all of this is absolutely phenomenal. So, do you have any questions for me? I covered a lot, I know. Yeah, uh, what's, uh, like, generally, what do you plan to do to uh, expand, like, the awareness about this water and how do you plan to advertise it? How do you think it'll like, benefit the How will the world, like, what's the general plan to reach it to as many people around the world as possible? It's a great question. Uh, we're, we're using human-based marketing to tell our story because this is a product that you have to tell us. It, it, it can't tell its own story. It has to be demonstrated at its, for its place in the marketplace today because it's so new compared to everything else in America. So. We're actually reaching a lot more people outside the United States than in. So because of our, social media. Some of our biggest cultures are uh, Southeast Asia, okay? Like, um, let's say Cambodia, uh, the Philippines, Indonesia, uh, Malaysia. There are some of our fastest growing markets. So social media, yes, that's one, one big way. But yeah, through us, through our, our network of people. And obviously, there is not nearly enough of us compared to the number of people out there. You know, there's seven and a half billion people drinking water, and there's only several thousand of us distributors throughout the whole company. So we got a huge project on our hands, but over the next several, I mean, we're getting it done. You can definitely see, in the last four years, we have more than tripled our sales. Do you, so. have, do you have an idea for it? Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, <laughs> If you want to tell me about like your social media like, like strategy right now, and how like do you currently do like paid traffic through Facebook ads, is like it's, I think so much distributors do that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, and that's that's not me specifically. I I'm personally building my business this way, face to face. Yeah, uh, and is awesome on social media. So yeah, I mean, everybody runs their business differently. So. I understand. Yeah. Yep, and it's up to us individually how we want to do it. You find whatever your wheelhouse is. Anne's wheelhouse is clearly social media, right. so that's what she does, right? Does that answer your questions? And I work, I work, I work with, I work in food. You know, I came from 18 years in food service, so I do well working with restaurants and chefs. I can add. I, I have heard from another distributor who has been doing what you said, and it's been difficult because they don't want to buy from a stranger. They're not going to spend that much money. Right. From a person they haven't met. And That's talked where to. this is definitely a relationship, and they not a sales the business. Too. So trying yeah, so. the water makes such a huge impact and transformation and difference. Exactly. You're they're much more likely to purchase. Yeah, so thing. that's that's pretty much what my um, what I had to add on. It's exactly what you're saying is that once you build, if you're building the brand around social media, instead of like nobody's going to buy it if they're not not knowing what they're buying it from. Right. But if you build a brand and a story about how it affects you and personal. Um, connections to people, then that will reach the social media platform more. Yeah. People will be more obligated or interested in buying it. Yeah. In a few years, we're going to be at, I, I'd say maybe 10 years, we'll be at a point where there's going to be enough recognition that, that we won't have to be doing this. Okay. The demo will probably eventually go away where we won't need, it, it won't need to be demonstrated that way. It'll just be, okay, which ionizer product do you want? Because 
the reality is... The next is, microwave, but healthier. Yeah, we're coming to a point where... Well, it's we're already at a point where no matter where you live, you need some sort of water processing in your home. You cannot drink tap water as it is. And I'm, and I'm promising you a Brita is not doing the job <laughs> at, at filtering anything significantly out of that water. So you need significant processing of water, whether that be, and I always recommend pre-filtering even, in addition to our technology. So, I mean, whether whether that be a collagen softener system, in addition to our technology, I find that those work the best for a whole house application. We're at a point where everyone needs some sort of water treatment. What's the flagship um, machine that you're... And I actually, someone has a question on the difference in the units too. Sure. On the Facebook Live here. The SE501s are our flagship models. We have the white one, we have the platinum one, and we also have one that can install under your sink. They have seven plates, and they're built to last a long time. They are workhorses. They will continuously produce a gallon per minute for as long as you run it, okay? So they will continuously make the same quality water for 24 hours a day, seven days a week if you let it run. What makes a difference in the machines is the number of plates inside. Okay, so the number of plates determines, the, let's call it the size of the engine. So you have a four cylinder, you have a V6, and you have a V8, okay? We have three plate machines, we have seven plate machines, and we have eight plate machines. The number of plates determines how much water it can produce at a given time. Remember that negative number I showed you? The more plates, the higher that negative number is. For example, the Junior 2 machine will make about negative 300 fresh. The K8 will make negative 800. The SE501 between negative 6 and negative 750. The Level Up R is about a negative 250. So the strength of the water, how long the machine itself will last, will also affect the price. Because the plates are made of their uh, platinum dip titanium. So they're obviously very expensive. Medical, medical grade. Yep. Medical grade. Platinum and titanium. Answer your question. Is there a twelve plate machine? Yes, we have the commercial twelve plate machine, and that's and the reason it's twelve. It's actually two machines in one, technically. It's two six plate chambers in that device. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's a seven plate chamber and a five plate chamber in that device. Cool. And that that's mostly for making large quantities of strong acidic water. For example, a restaurant it would be a perfect client for the for the Super 501. Okay. That's what we're using in the lake house. And that's in Bellevue, right? That's the in Bellevue. restaurant, yeah. Cool. Any other questions? What's the uh, the MSRP for the SD 501? 3980, 4280, and 4980. How much does it cost you guys to make that? So all of our pro all of our products are marked up 65% total, which is virtually unheard of in any type of marketing because of you know your typical pair of tennis shoes is marked up several hundred percent. Most products are marked up well over 100%. So but we are factory direct, so we're going directly from the manufacturer through a distributor right to the consumer. So you're not paying all of the advertising channels and all of the other fees and other people that you would have to pay in traditional retail. There are so many hands that a product has to pass through before it gets to the consumer. And every single hand is reaching out for money. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right? Yeah. Our product passes through us and that's it. So if we were selling these in Costco or Walmart or a traditional big box retailer, you'd be probably spending 12 grand for this. That would be the comparison, yeah. yeah I would well, say if it was that model, yeah. Yeah, an SD five hundred one. Honestly, I would say it would go anywhere between ten and twelve grand. We're able to keep our. But can you can down. you even put a price on it, Steve? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. House? Absolutely no. So do you believe that uh, this is like where we are now in twenty eighteen? Is this just like uh, this price that and the price mark that you have on it is temporary? raise awareness for the brand before later on in the future possibly like increasing the price of this? No, because we haven't changed our prices in like, I've been a part of this for almost four years 
and we haven't changed prices. And for as long as Carlos has been involved, he's been involved seven years, they haven't raised prices. I think it sounds like they, the owner of the company really just wants this technology in as many homes as possible. Yeah. And he makes that really easy with the different pay, pay plan options and then the option the Good Samaritan where if you really don't have the money, you can put time and energy towards getting yeah. into other homes. So so he makes it really easy for the people who really want to do it. And they have a, we have a program that if you have like horrible credit or no credit whatsoever, you can go up to our office and with a $900 down payment, they'll give you an SD501 on the honor system that you would make monthly payments until it's paid off without checking your credit. So, I mean, our company wants these in every home and they do whatever they can to make it available for you. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Great questions. Yeah. You guys were very attentive. Thank you for your attention. Thank <laughs> you for your time. And um, thank you, Steve. Thank you yeah, so much for doing you. this and giving us your time. You guys are amazing. This is a great I demonstration. Just what, I just love what we do. So. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. <laughs>